you probably own it as well. A huge box filled with lots of different types of automatic binding bricks. And you've encountered this problem as well. How should you sort your Lego collection? Now, lots of different people have lots of different methods for their own collections. Now I'm going to show you the various types of sorting methods for your pieces. This is my ultimate guide for sorting Lego pieces or other types of bricks. Sorting method number one, according to shape, regardless of color. This method is especially useful for people who own very large collections of Lego sets. You know, people who have um, at least 100 different sets. Furthermore, this system works with transparent drawers. Now, uh, there are several different types of structures that contain these drawers. This is the cheaper version, uh, which is made of plastic. Um, and works wonderfully. And this is the more expensive one, which is made of metal and, you know, costs at least 22 euros. It's not financially viable to buy s so many of the of the version of the right uh, on the right. Um, and therefore, I suggest that you just buy the cheaper uh, version of these uh, shelves, uh, which is made of plastic and costs approximately eight euros. Another perk of this wonderful system is that you can immediately rebuild any sets that you have taken apart. So if you've taken apart a set that you really love and that you regret taking apart, well, you can just easily rebuild it because you will find the pieces. In, in fact, you will even find the correct color of the piece that you're looking for when rebuilding your old set. But, you know, unfortunately, that won't necessarily work if you want to rebuild any given set um, but that is technically possible if you want to build say this Volkswagen Beetle then you could build a colorful version of that car you know because you don't necessarily have the right colors um, for this model but you have the right shapes and this way you can basically build almost any Lego set that is not too large and that's what makes this approach so incredibly attractive. And, you know, for collections with more than 100 sets, it's definitely financially viable if you don't necessarily sort all of your pieces and buy, as I've already said, uh, cheaper drawers. Sorting method number two, according to color, regardless of shape. Now, as you can see, I've already been doing this for a very long time and um, I actually regret that I've been following this method because it's definitely not ideal. The human brain would immediately think that it's best to sort according to color, but the human brain is fundamentally wrong there because the biggest problem with this is that you won't find the specific type of piece that you are looking for. However, if you have a very small collection, if you have a collection that is smaller than 100 Lego sets, then I think you should still this you should still choose this method. So if you have small collections, then I promise you this is the best approach because it's financially most viable and also the most straightforward. Sorting method number three, according to shape and this is actually the system that Lego uh, uses for the uh, last pages of your instruction booklets. And this system is actually virtually perfect. However, please beware of the downside. It's not very financially viable to sort both by shape and color because you probably don't have enough money to buy those shelves, even if they just cost eight, eight euros each which makes them a little more financially viable because ultimately you will just end up with far too many shelves and drawers that aren't exactly full unless you know you have a lot of pieces that are very common so i only recommend this approach for collections that are very large you know at least comprise five thousand sets 
So only for collectors who have a lot of money and a lot of resources and a lot of bricks. So let's summarize what I've told you so far. If your collection size is smaller than 100 sets, sort your pieces according to color only. If the size of your collection lies between 100 and 5,000 sets, or if you are an experienced mock builder, you should sort your pieces according to their shape. And if your collection comprises more than 5,000 sets, you should uh, consider sorting your pieces according to their shape and their color. I hope this little guide has provided you some helpful advice on how to sort your Lego collection. And if you're interested in more of my content, like advice on sorting your Lego pieces or your Lego minifigures or your Lego instruction booklets, then you can subscribe because I will be providing such guides in the future as well. I acknowledge that I have been absent from YouTube for quite a long time but I have returned and I will provide a lot of really good content very soon. Goodbye for now.